Till now, we have only concentrated to VLSI domain. Designing and fabrication of a chip for some application is the heart of this domain. This is the core sector for electronics people. Another domain which is equally important is embedded systems. In today's episode, we are going to discuss about embedded systems. Stay tuned till the end of the video. What is embedded systems? As its name suggests, embedded means something that is attached to another thing. An embedded system can be thought of as a computer hardware system having software embedded in it. An embedded system is a microprocessor or microcontroller based system of hardware and software designed to perform dedicated functions within a larger mechanical or electrical system. Such a system can be small and independent or large and combinational. It is a micro microcontroller based control system used to perform a specific task of operation. Complexities range from a single microcontroller to a suit of processors with connected peripherals and networks. From no user interface to complex graphical user interfaces. The complexity of an embedded system varies significantly depending on the task for which it is designed. Applications range from digital watches and microwave to hybrid vehicles and avionics. As much as 98 8% of all microprocessors manufactured are used in embedded systems. Let's take an example. Laser printers uses embedded system to manage various aspects of the printing. Apart from performing the main task of printing, it has to take user inputs, manage communication with the computer system to handle faults and sense papers left on the tray. Here, the main task of the microprocessor is to understand the text and control the printing head in such a way that it discharges ink where it is needed. To perform this, it needs to decode the different files given to it and understand the font and graphic. It will consume substantial CPU time to process the data as well as it has to take user inputs, control motors, etc. Major Components of an Embedded System Such a system is a combination of three major components. One hardware. Hardware is physically used component that is physically connected with an embedded system. Comprises of microcontroller based integrated circuit, power supply, LC CD display, etc. Second is application software. Application software allows the user to perform varieties of application to be run on an embedded system by changing the code installed. Number three, real time operating system. Real time operating system or RTOS supervises the way an embedded system works. It acts as an interface between hardware and application software, which supervises the application software and provide mechanism to let the processor run on the basis of scheduling for controlling the effect of latencies. How an embedded system works. Embedded systems are managed by microcontrollers or digital signal processors, application specific integrated circuits, field programmable gate arrays, GPU technology and gate arrays. These processing systems are integrated with components dedicated to handling electric or mechanical interfacing. Embedded systems programming instructions are referred as firmware, are stored in read-only memory or flash memory chips. Embedded system connect with the outside world through peripherals, linking input and output devices. Basic structure of an embedded system. The basic structure of an embedded system includes components like sensor, AD converter, DA converter, actuator. Sensor. The sensor measures and converts the physical quantity to an electrical signal, which can then be read by an embedded system engineer or any electronic instrument. A sensor stored measured quantity to the memory. AD converter. An analog to digital converter converts the analog signal sent by the sensor into a digital signal. Processor and ASICs. Processors assess the data to measure the output and store it to the memory. DA converter. A digital to analog converter changes the digital data fed by the processor to analog data actuator. Actuator. An actuator compares the output given by the DA converter to the actual output stored and stores the approved output. Types of embedded system. There are three types of embedded system, small scale, medium scale and sophisticated one. A small scale embedded system can be designed with a single 8 or 16 bit microcontroller. It can be operated with the help of a battery. For developing small scale embedded system, an editor assembler, IDE and cross assembler are the most vital programming tools. A medium scale embedded system are designed using 16 or 32-bit microcontrollers. These systems offer both hardware and software complexities. 
C, C++, Java and source code engineering tool etc are used to develop this kind of embedded system. Sophisticated embedded systems have lots of hardware and software complexities. You may require IPS, AS, IPS, PLS, configuration processor or scalable processor. For the development of this system, you need hardware and software, co-design and components which needs to combine in the final system. Application of embedded systems, robotic science, medical, automotive, networking, home devices, automobiles and industrial control. Major advantages of embedded system is that it is able to cover a wide variety of environments. The major drawback of embedded system is that it needs a long time to market. Now let's talk about future trends in embedded systems. The industry for embedded systems is expected to continue growing rapidly driven by the continued development of artificial intelligence, virtual reality and augmented reality, machine learning, deep learning and the IoT. The cognitive embedded system will be at the heart of such trends as it reduced energy consumption, improved security for embedded devices, cloud connectivity and mesh networking, deep learning applications and visualization tools with real-time data. According to our 2018 report published by QI Research, the global market for the embedded systems industry was valued at $68.9 billion in 2017 and is expected to rise to $105.7 billion by the end of 2025. What you need to know about embedded systems in 2022? The embedded system industry has seen a radical change over the years. With the change in technologies like inception of IoT and IIoT, embedded systems have become the catalyst for intelligent networks to emerge. Embedded software development is gaining popularity. Such a system have become integral in most industries like medical devices, automotive, aerospace, defense and automation. The development of microprocessor systems for embedded systems is really dynamic. Every year larger, stronger and more energy efficient microprocessor has arrived and enriched the system. Let's discuss few aspects related to embedded systems which are in focus of the designers as these are the need of our. Cyber security. We all love social media. We love to be connected. So that bear us to the threat of hackers. As a result, stronger security systems need to be part of any embedded systems. The microcontroller manufacturers has already introduced newer, faster and more complicated mechanisms that protect the devices, code and communication interfaces. This trend of making systems more secure will continue for sure. Artificial intelligence. We cannot skip artificial artificial intelligence. This trend strongly came to embedded systems. Multi-core microcontroller development. As the application becomes more and more sophisticated and complex, use of multi-core microcontroller is becoming popular among designers. Embedded computers. Embedded computers are becoming a significant part of almost every piece of the technology we use in our everyday lives. The smart touch screen on a refrigerator door that integrates feeds from social media and local news network is an excellent example example of an embedded computer. Embedded DevOps Embedded DevOps is need of our, although not every company is equipped with that. Many experts are saying sooner or later all need to incorporate DevOps as it will help in maintain shorter time to market. We tried to discuss about embedded systems in a nutshell. It's a vast domain. If you are interested to work in the intersection of hardware and software, then embedded systems might be your call. Share your comments. We will be back with another episode. Till then, stay tuned, stay focused.